All right, ACL Weekend 1 is starting today. Nearly 75,000 people, people heading out to Zilker Park for the festival. If you're one of them, you can't expect some security changes. Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live near Zilker Park with that story. Morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, Dave. You know, this is the 16th year of ACL, but this year is somewhat different than the years past. There's some new public safety concerns for a lot of those people attending the festival. That's really because of what happened in Las Vegas Sunday night. If you remember, there was about hundreds of people who were injured, at least 58 people killed. It's happened during a three day music festival similar to ACL. So police are stepping up security for the event. Interim Police Chief Brian Manley says they will be increasing patrol many officers will be seen during the event. Many will be undercover. He says along with extra help from DPS and federal authorities, they're also getting help from an unexpected resource. We're actually going to take some of the vehicles that are still waiting to be fixed for the carbon monoxide issues, and we're going to bring them into this event and use them as hard barricades at some of the roadways that we want to block for vehicular traffic. This will be one of the safest places, actually the safest place with just sheer presence of law enforcement this weekend. And we mentioned how police will be stepping up their presence during the festival. Well, the festival hasn't even officially started. And since we've been out here this morning, we've already seen a handful of Austin police officers on their bikes and in their patrol units kind of monitoring the area. This year, there is also some new guidelines, some things you can't and can bring inside Zilker Park. And Fox 7's Tanya Ortega is with us this morning. Tanya, I know you have more on that story and kind of covering the fun aspect of ACL. Definitely, you know, obviously we want to talk about safety and security, everything that they're doing, but it is after all a music festival and it's going to be a lot of fun for about 75,000 people out here this weekend. 